Hey guys, here I am in my little workspace here, and I was going to show you something that I have made for Belinda. Okay, here it is. This is something else, you guys. This is quite the creation. I picked out my most interesting, my biggest, my loudest, my... I don't know, just the beads that just catch your eye and make you want to pick them up and look at them. This is what I have chosen for this piece. And this is for, uh, she's got an owl pendant. And I had made her a uh, beaded chain like this before. And it was a lot more delicate and it had a lot more symmetry and it had a lot more of, the, of a pattern going. And this, although it's got a little bit of a pattern going, uh, is not the same. This is loud and funky and delightful and gorgeous and it cannot be ignored, just like Belinda. So, I wanted to show this so you guys could see it closely, the beads. I chose them all especially because they were interesting and unique. So, although I tried to kind of match, none of them really match because they're all uh, unique beads. But I tried to find one that was kind of similar. And these, uh, I think of these as little disco balls. They'll really catch the light. I had that in mind. These have little jewels inside these little cages here. It has a little multifaceted crystal inside of there to catch the light. And I put these little disco balls just dangling everywhere. Uh, so they would catch the light because this is supposed to go on her rearview mirror in her car. Now, I realize it's too long, but I made it to be doubled up. So you can double it up like this and hang it on the mirror like that. So it's really busy. It's just mad. It's got everything going on. So much stuff going on here with this piece. This big uh, middle pendant has on the end of it a hook so she can clip the owl pendant that she already has on there <clears throat> and belinda if the uh if the little circle on the owl pendant is too large for that clip i sent an extra one of these and this is just like a key ring it's just tiny and you can just put it on that owl pendant and clip it this is just a little plain lobster lobster clasp here and uh yeah so if if you can just clip it on the pendant fine and if it's too big you can put this thing on there and then that'll make it fit so then there's a lot going on i've got two of these owls pendants and they've both got a little disco ball on the end of them and then this is the this little piece right here in the cobalt blue is the exact opposite so when you twist it around you'll know it's right because that'll match up like that and it's just got a whole lot going on so it was intended to be made and dangle kind of like this maybe I might have to lengthen this just a little bit like that yeah kind of like that it's supposed to hang off the rearview mirror like that and then have your owl on it there so that's why it's really really long is because I made it to double up because I figured you know all these wonderful beads and they are all really interesting and wonderful look at this one There's so many. Look at this one. I like the polka dot ones. And the stripey. Some of them are painted on. They have a, like a paint stripe on them. This one's got a painted stripe and polka dots. So cool. This one also has a painted stripe. And little bumps on there. And then there are some just clear ones. 
and I used lots of uh, it's these right here these little spacers um, in between and next to like there's a red one right next to that red glass bead and there's a green one right next to this green glass bead so I was hoping to pick up a lot of the sunshine and sparkle that you get when you hang something from the rearview mirror so I just wanted to share that I mainly was trying to show it to Belinda but I wanted you guys to see it too this thing this big chunky funky wonderful eclectic unique eye-catching interesting beaded thing and it's made out of stretchy cord I'll show you see that it's just stretchy cord in there so you can catch it on something and pull it and it's not gonna break you can double it up again if you wanted to you could do it like maybe three times like that and have it all chunky like that and you know just make it as long as you need it to be and it should work out to where it looks all right no matter how you do it because i tried to make it even up both sides like that and it's got these little owl beads here to match the owl pendant i don't know if you can see those are really cute they look like little owls and and the big owls and then i put some hearts in there and lots of little spacers and bead caps and things like that okay well that's it that's the big funky monkey that's going to belinda for her to hang her gorgeous owl on so thanks for joining me and until next time y'all be sweet